Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 11, Chi-Squared Tests of Fit. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll be exploring how to conduct the goodness of fit test and a chi-squared test of independence. First, we're going to conduct our goodness of fit test, and we're going to do this using the gum preference variable that you see here. To run the goodness of fit tests, we're going to open the Analyze menu, Non-Parametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, and you can't really even see it, but Chi-Squared, the first item in that menu. Here we're going to specify uh, the variable that we wish to conduct our Chi-Squared Goodness of Fit test on. That's going to be the gum preference variable here. Uh, the most important piece of this dialog is this expected values section in the bottom right. Uh, by default, uh, SPSS will assume that you want an equal number uh, of expected values across each of your cells. So if you, as we do, have 33 cases, that means 11 cases in each cell. But if you want to specify an alternate model, you can do so uh, by clicking this values button and then typing each of the options that you wish there. So for example, we might do 10, and then we might add 12, and then we might add 11. This works in the order, uh, the alphanumeric order of your data set. So if you have groups numbered 1, 2, and 3, then you'll have groups 1, 2, and 3 listed here. If the number of groups that you list in this area does not equal that of the number of groups in your variable, or uh, if these totals don't equal uh, the total number of observed cases in your variable, then SPSS will be angry and throw an error at you. So those, both of those things must be true in order for this function to work. Uh, for now, we're going to choose all categories equal, uh, and then we are going to run our chi-squared test. As usual, the output pane pops up. We can immediately see some summary statistics, uh, both our observed and our expected ends for each category. Uh, you can see it used the 11s, as I uh, mentioned it would. We scroll down a little bit, we can find our chi-squared st statistic. In this case, chi-squared uh, equals 1.273, and that has two degrees of freedom, and p in this case equals 0.529. So that is all you need to do for a goodness of fit test. Now for a test of independence, because we are comparing two variables directly to one another, uh, the process is going to be slightly different. This time we'll head to the Analyze menu, Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs. In that dialog, we're going to put one variable in rows, one variable in columns in order to compare them directly to one another. The Cross Tabs tool is actually pretty broadly useful if you want to check the counts at the intersections of two variables. Uh, you don't need it just for chi-square. Uh, so say, for example, we just want to know how many cases uh, are at each intersection, say gum preference 2 and gender 1, gum preference 3 and gender 2, and so on. We can do that with this cross-tabulations tool. Uh, we do want a little bit more detail this time, so we're going to click on the statistics panel and say that we want to, in addition to viewing the cross-tabulation, also compute a chi-square as well as a Kramer's V effect size statistic. Note that if you had different types of data, you could also use those here. Uh, and you could also specify which ones you wanted using this panel. For now, we're going to hit continue, and then we're going to hit OK, and that will add the results of our cross-tabulation to the uh, output pane. We scroll down. Uh, we first are going to see some basic summary information. Next comes our observed contingency table. So uh, this contains all of our observed values. You can see the intersection of each of our genders uh, using the, the uh, value labels that are present in the variable view. Uh, both female and male are specified, as well as the three gum preferences. And you can see the counts at each intersection there. So we had 11 males, which specified uh, competitor one's flavor, for example. We scroll down further, we can find the results of our chi-squared test in this first row. Pearson chi-square, uh, the value is 7.148, 2 degrees of freedom, and 0 0.028. That is our p-value. So we would report this as chi-square with 2 degrees of freedom equals 7.148, P equals 0 0.028. Since that is less than our alpha, that means that we will reject the null. This is a statistically significant chi-square, which means we need to pay attention to the effect size measure down below. If we scroll down to this next table, you will see the Kramer's V statistic, and the value uh, returned for Kramer's V is, in this case, 0.465. So that's it. Using uh, SPSS, we have conducted first our goodness of fit test, and then second, our test of independence that created our cross-tabulated uh, contingency table. 
And finally, we looked at the actual value of chi-square for that as well as an effect size estimate. And that is all you need for Chapter 11.